Hello, it's Yoshino here, and today we have the so long awaited head XY angles tutorial. Literally, everyone has asked me about this tutorial, and I wanted to make it. I am so happy that I was finally able to make it. So, let's go. Remember that. This tutorial that I am making will be part of my How to Life 3 playlist where I am trying to put as many topics as possible. We got the eyes tutorial, eyebrows, animated ears, ears. There is a lot of material for you to use. If you're a beginner, uh, this is perfect for you. Feel free to check it out and also feel free to come to my streams uh, where you can ask me questions about whatever you want. As usual, uh, since these are tutorials be uh, for beginners, I am starting with the layer division. By the way, if you're not a beginner uh, or you want to speed this up, I put a little chart in the description for you to use for the layer division. So this layer division that I am making is for the head XY um, tutorial. This means that I did not divide the hair for the physics um, division. If it was physics division, I would have divided differently. But um, if you want to check that, uh, then you can check my um, YouTube channel where I have tutorials where I, to show, uh, where I show you how to divide the hair, how to divide the eyes properly, because also the eyes are not uh, properly divided for eye blinking rigging, for example. This is only for head rigging. So let's check uh, what we got. You have to have your hair divided from your head. Make sure that you have two different layers for your shadow and your hair itself. In here, uh, I started dividing the bangs, side bangs, and side hair. Remember that you are gonna need side, side hair for the rotation of the head. Don't only make the bangs. Otherwise, when your character is gonna turn to the side, you're gonna have a bold spot here with no hair. Now, let's remove the front hair to see better what is going on here. I advise, sorry, <laughs> I advise you divide, this is very professionally made, your expressions as well. Like this. So for the head XY, you need your, um, your eyebrows to be divided. Then you need your iris and your light to be divided because we are gonna use this to give a 3D effect. So the eyes are divided the same. Very important, nose, you need to divide it. If you're making uh, anime nose, you need to divide the nose, which is gonna be just this straight line. Nose light and nose shadow. This is very important for the nose rigging when it goes to the sides. Mouth, uh, you're gonna divide it like your um, normal average mouth, which by the way, I really much advise you to use the Kira Omori tutorial output in the description. <laughs> uh, many people have asked me to make a tutorial for my 3D looking mouth, like this. Uh, I'll probably make that in the near future, let's just say like that. Okay, head division, let's see, it's also very important. So, when you are making your, your face, you are probably starting with your liner, which is this one that you probably cannot see. We need the head liner divided from the head color. This is because when the head is going up down to the sides we're gonna make it so that the line disappears so we have a look that our head is actually looking up i'm probably gonna put an example in this moment on the screen <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So we, uh, I'll advise you to do this, make your line art, then select inside of it. Okay, now, depending on your um, app that you're using, you need to delete the, the selection by one pixel. Then grab another layer, your skin color, and fill it. Like this, you're gonna have a nice even coloring going all of inside of your headline without any hole or anything like that. Okay, so again, we need headline to be divided from the color. Head color to fill in with just the base color. Head shading on another layer a bit bigger than your head. This is because when the head rotates, we can make it move like this to make the head look like it's moving. Blush on another layer. This one is very, very important. Give your model a head hair so that even if your front hair moves a little bit, you still have here you have no holes it, otherwise it's gonna look bold so give your model a head here like this and we're gonna need <laughs> my eggplants already we're gonna need a line mask to mask out the headline that we prepared don't be too worried about uh, this one just made a blob lightly shaded in the sides the color is not important because this is gonna be transparent Prepare a head shadow. Let me show you how this looks. It goes all on the top part of the neck, all here because we're gonna move it with the head, lightly shaded. And the neck has a very particular shape. You have to think as if, as, as, as if you were watching uh, someone's head from behind. So you create your neck and then you create this bowl and the head hair that also is on the back. For this tutorial, I also wanted to include uh, the cat ears because I don't know, I thought maybe someone would have needed it. So this is how you divide the um, the your animal ears to have a 3d look you need to make a front section back section and fluff very important the back hair needs to be well shaded and have nice middle line here even if it's covered by the front hair, make a nice middle line going lower because we're gonna need it again for the head movement. Make it nicely shaded, all of it. Don't um, leave weird blobs in here. Untoggle everything and shade this uh, back hair nicely. So, I think we got basically everything. So, we can remove these two layers that I don't know why here. Have your transparent background. Five, export as PSD. You need a PSD extension. Give the name that you want. Okay. And let's go right into Live2D. Okay, we now have Live2D open and we can uh, so open your folder where you have your um, model that you prepared. Grab it and drop it inside of life to do it's gonna load okay it's a little bit messed up right now so we will uh, fix it so since this is a head xy tutorial i'm removing everything that i don't need I will leave the mouth open because we need to open the mouth when rigging it for head XY. So we can uh, control A and select everything and make the automatic standard meshes, hoping that it's looking cool. But the ones that we don't like, we can actually rig them again. 
so let's take off the front hair for now to see better what is going on in here. So we need to um, make the masks that we had uh, working again. So click on your head color, copy its ID, and uh, you now can uh, clip the head hair to it just by pasting it in here. Do the same thing for the head shading. Paste the head color in here, and we already have this fixed. Um, if you mess up uh, anything, press Ctrl Z. Now we can do the same thing. Uh, we can select our neck, copy its ID, and paste it into the clipping ID of our head shadow. Now, same thing for the uh, eyeshadow. Select square, sclera, copy its ID. Now we can multiple select the iris, the eyeshadow, and the eyeliner, and boom, everything is gonna be clipped. Do the same thing for the other eye. Oh, okay, so basically we can already start. Um, what I like to start with is remove every face feature so that we can work on the head alone at first. Let's remove the eyebrows, the eyes, and everything. Now, you can click on this, uh, and you have to select the head shadow, the head color, the head shading, the blush. Also head hair for now, headline. And let's make a new warp deformer, and let's call it head xy. Create it. And put it, click on here to activate it in the angle X. And uh, later we're gonna do it for angle Y as well. Okay, what we're gonna do at first is gonna hold shift and move this to the side a little bit. Sorry, I forgot. You need to put the head shadow in it as well. How you do it? Make sure that you are in the deformer um, folder. And drag it in on top of head xy and it's gonna drop right in. So now it's moving with it. Move this to the side. Now we can click here, reflect motion horizontally, so it's gonna move the same amount to the sides as well. Now select everything. You can deselect head shading and uh, head hair for now. Click on solo. I was joking, you can also click on head shadow and click on solo. Now we're gonna work with this. Um, so, this is uh, kind of hard to explain, okay? Um, what I advise you is that you mostly use the green dots uh, at first. Because with this you get less deformation, and then after you have established a general shape, you go with more detailed elements. So how we're we gonna do this? First of all, I want you to grab here and put smooth for now. Hold shift and drag this to the side to start giving this nice curve that makes it look like if our character is looking to the side. You need to play with this. Um, see what this, uh, how this works smooth. I can move this and this creates a nice little curve. But if maybe I wanted to do this, when I move it, pop, it pops back. Okay, so remember this. So what we want to achieve now is this nice little, nice little curve that anime girls face have here. And we're gonna work for that. Um, just follow me along honestly because this is gonna need a lot of adjustments, work in and out. So uh, follow along and watch basically what I'm doing.
at this point that I have a quite decent looking uh, rotation, we can grab this tool, hold B to and drag to make it uh, bigger or smaller. And we can do some light adjustment. Don't overdo with this because you're gonna mess up otherwise. Light adjustments to make this even better. Don't worry if it's gonna look weird at first. Um, you can always work it, then add the uh, eyes and rig the eyes, then come back to the head shape. This needs a bit of a uh, back and forth with the rigging to really get it right. So I think we can remove the solo mode for now. And we're gonna work uh, on a so on an adjustment for the head shading. So we're gonna give it a more 3D look. How we make it? We make a new deformer. By the way, this is gonna be a long tutorial. It takes a lot of time, but you have to be patient. If you want to create a very professional and amazing looking model, this hacking thingy, sorry. <laughs> Make it active also, remember, always remember to check that the parameter that you're working on is active, otherwise it's gonna mess. And you don't do basically anything to this, just move it a little bit more towards your movement. So it's gonna give us the fake look that this side is getting more in front of us. Always reflect motion to reflect your motion to the other side. Sometimes this gets, gets messed up, I am not sure why. Like in this case, we can adjust it a little bit. There we go. We can now bring in the eyes. By the way, I like to make it first uh, full angle X and then full angle Y. You can technically uh, work head base for X, Y, then eyes for X, Y, but I like it to do it like this. Okay. Now we need to grab our eyes. both R and L and create a head X, Y, let's call it eyes, head X, Y. By the way, if you followed my eyes tutorial, I will put on the screen right now an image of how the eyes, head uh, X, Y and all the eyes parameters should look with also Iris uh, wiggle and blinking stuff so that you have a reference right now. Okay, let's make this active as well. And also let's create it for the eyebrows. I like to work with the eyes and eyebrows at the same time because I think they kind of move together, right? They're on a very near on a similar plane. Okay, let's select eyes and eyebrows. Start with just moving them to the side. Now, click on this tree and let's start working on it just with it. Do not use this at first because we need to get the general shape right. So you can drag to give it a general squishing, opposite thing for this one. Also, you can make this one eye a little bit bigger. Hold Alt and Shift together, very slight, because since it's coming towards us, it's becoming a little bit bigger because of the perspective. Same thing, this other one, you can make it slightly smaller. 
and it's already starting to have a nice look. Always do this test. Bring it to the middle and bring it to the side. It's gonna, you're gonna see something weird happening. For example, here, uh, this eye looks like it's going more left and it's squishing. So let's do this. Okay, for example, now as you can see, the blush is looking a little bit weird. You can either come here and rotate it a little bit and see how it is looks. It's still looking weird. What we can do is create a blush adjustment. Make it active and work this out a little bit. Okay, we can now work on the eyebrows. It's basically the same um, concept of the eyes. Okay, now for the eyes, we can give it a cooler effect um, if we do this. So if you have your uh, eyes uh, already read, they are gonna be in two different um, deformers. So let's create iris r head x y. Also for the light, light r head x. Why? What we're gonna do is create a parallax effect um, where basically we make it look as if the iris is a little bit on the back compared to the front. How we do this? We drag the iris against the movement. So if the head is going left, we drag the iris right. And the same thing for the other side. You can also select where the pupil is and do the same thing. Actually, it's a little bit better probably if you do it like this with this tool. Then grab your light. And instead, the head is going with the movement, but a little bit more. So your head is going to the left, you bring it more to the left. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, you see that? You can actually copy paste this to the other side. Oh my god, that is very unprofessional. It's probably better if I remove that. So we can hold shift to select everything, control C, control V, right click, reflect horizontally, angle X, okay. Delete your old ones. 
Now grab your sclera ten, uh, L. Switch the clipping ID to the right one. Bring, make sure that they are in the right layer order. And here we are, it should work. Yes, ah, you see that? You like that? I love that. <laughs> I love that, okay. Uh, so now we can move to mouth and nose. So for the nose, I think we're gonna work with the meshes themselves and not deformers. Let's make it active here. Grab your tongue, your mouth. Let's make a deformer mouth X, mouth head X, Y. Create, let's make this. Now grab your mouth and your nose together. I lost the nose. Ah, here. Let's move it to the side. Like motion. Uh, now the nose is gonna uh, go actually a little bit more forward compared to the mouth. This one is very simple. Let's make a path deformer for the little line nosy that we got. And uh, you can delete this one. Curve it. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, delete this one. I messed it up somehow. Let's delete and remake it. And let's make this a pointed corner. Let's see how it's gonna look. Okay, a bit too pointy. What we can do is actually make this mesh a little bit more detailed. We have a little walking nose. Let's reflect this. Little working nose. Okay, I'm gonna very fast rig uh, this mouth so it can open, so we can properly rig the mouth uh, as well. Okay, I've read this uh, mouth so it can now open uh, because we need uh, for the mouth to open to properly see what is wrong because since the, this mouth is just a line, you cannot really see properly how this works. So you can do it like this. Again, start with only the corners and work your way in like this at first. And we also want uh, to change the 
I don't know why I put this here. The tongue. Let the tongue looks 3D. So let's just click on the tongue, make it active here. Grab this tool, make it bigger. Bring it to the back like this. It's gonna look amazing. Look. <laughs> These are little tips that really makes your head look 3D much more. We're almost done with the head X. It looks amazing. We're gonna need to make some more stuff though first. So let's bring back in the front here. We can close our map. Okay, I think banks and side banks. Uh, you can decide, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, if you want to make it more detailed, you can rig all of this separately. Which is probably what I'm gonna do as well. Side banks XY. Banks XY. Hi there, X, Y. Of course, if you are using uh, the free version of Live 3D, you probably want to make only one deformer for all of these. Otherwise, you're going to run out of deformers very soon. Instead, if you have the bot version of Live 2D and you want to really step up your work, feel free to um, work it like I am doing right now. I think we're going to move the back hair uh, for now to be able to see our stuff better. Again, just follow along. There's not really much to explain here. You need to drag the stuff to make it look 3D. Remember you're smooth. It's gonna look smooth. What is in front moves more than what is in the back. As you can see, for example, the banks are moving more to the left compared to the side banks.
There we go. Now I'd like to fix the, um, the neck a little bit. We should move it a little bit. Let me see. There we go. It can curve a little bit. So the concept behind this is as if the head, the back of her head was showing a bit. This is probably even too much. Hmm. Reflect. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Now we have to work the back here. Again, you need to create a deformer for each one of these new one. The more you make, the better it's gonna look. Okay, we can now work on the ears and we will be done. So, uh, we can actually just work on only on one and then copy paste it to the other side. So here, R, add, that's five. Hmm, or maybe, listen, this is gonna be even better. Select both of them, both of them in the same deformer, and let's first deform them like this, and then we're gonna give it the three D look.
Okay, this here is ready. I can copy paste it to the other side. Control C, Control V, right click, reflect, angle X. Okay. If it's not precisely positioned, you can create a new temporary deformer. User arrow keys to right place it, delete this one. Remove the old one. And you can always adjust if you don't like how something is looking. Like here, I don't like it much. Okay, there we go. You have add X for now. On the next episode, uh, I will put head Y. And I think on a third episode, I will put the angles that are going to create here, 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 and here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment if you have any problems. Uh, share it with your friend if you find it useful. Uh, feel free to subscribe and click on the bell button if you want to be notified when the angle Y or any new tutorial will come out. I'll try to make it as soon as possible. In the meanwhile, uh, I hope this can be helpful for you. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.